ticketoffices.com or you can absolutely give them a quick call. Uh, I have the number here. It is, I think, 321-242-2219. That's 321-242-2219. And they're located 3865 North Wickham Road, Melbourne, Florida. Um, I just wanted to get that out there as well. And if you're yeah, interested great. in seeing Michael on tour, um, he's all over. Because my, my podcast goes out all over. It just doesn't stay here in Florida. Um, oh, cool. He's going to be in New York City, Chicago, Austin, Seattle, St. Louis, and more. And all you have to do is go to www.michaelcarbonaro.com and a list of all of his tour dates, uh, times, ticket information, everything is on his webpage. Um, Michael, I also wrote a blog um, about all your wonderful things you've done. And in that blog, I've listed your Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, and your website information as well. Um, so that wow, everybody, you're up early. yeah, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty thorough. You know, that's what happens when you have OCD. Uh, <laughs> what else did I wanted to ask you? Oh, I wanted to ask, do you have an ideal company or a venue that you would like to work with long, like long term? Like, would you like to get a Vegas gig, a resident gig in Vegas? Um, maybe. I mean, I've played Vegas at Planet Hollywood for a, you know, a little stretch and, um, I could see that happening. Yeah, I um, I'm working on a project right now that hopefully it's either going to land in Vegas or New York. Um, I don't really know. It's almost like depending on what the show is and what the project is, exactly like where the best place to start it would be. I, do, I don't really have like a location. I'm like, oh man, I got to land in Vegas or anything like that. But I could see me. I could definitely see me doing it. And I can see you doing a lot more other than just magic. And it's not that I don't think, I think you're fabulous with your magic. And I think you're just so much more well-rounded with comedy and the way you can just draw people to you. I mean, it takes a very special person to be able to capture that person, keep them there long enough, and then ultimately you know, reel them in and they actually yeah. believe you and they believe what they're seeing. Cause it's true. Like, I don't want to know any secrets. I'm not that kind of person. Like what <laughs> kills me totally is your levitation. I think I mentioned that earlier, but that oh, yeah. just blows me away. I will never Google it. I will never ask a magician. How do you do it? Cause I believe in that magic and that special, you know, that special feeling you get when you're watching magic. It's like, wow. Ooh, ah, you know, but. I'm the same way. And like, you know, even magic is so crazy like that. This was one of my other, you know, one of my other inspirations was Penn and Teller. And, you know, Penn and Teller, they'll sometimes even reveal a secret to the audience, but then they'll turn around and fool you with that same secret five minutes later. Yes. And that's the same way when I see a great magician and I go, wait a minute, what just, and then I try and backtrack and figure out, and then I'm like, I'm like you, I don't want to know. I'm like, you know what? Let me just keep that moment. Yeah. Keep the moment, keep it close to your heart. You know, it's a special moment. Once you find out it's very disheartening. I feel yeah. there, there was a TV show, not on, t not too long ago. I don't remember, but it was the secrets of magicians. I never watched sure. it. We never put it on because it's kind of, eh, I don't know. I just, I didn't appreciate that. You know, they're going to put all that out there. It's like, what's the sense? Where does the yeah. magic and that special feeling go, you know? I know, yeah. I mean, it got a lot of, if, if nothing else, it got a lot of kids, I think, interested in magic, which right. I think is good. However, the attitude of the show was really like, just like, it was sort of like down on magic. It was like, don't let these magicians fool you with these stupid tricks versus right. like saying, this is an amazing art and look at how you can misdirect someone and look at the techniques that make people believe. So it was a weird attitude. Yeah, it was definitely just sensationalized. So another question I would like to ask is how did you, were you offered, um, uh, were you offered the Carbonaro effect or did you approach somebody with it? Did you pitch it to, you know, to someone, a network? To TV no, afterwards? I actually, I was performing hidden camera magic segments on the tonight show with Jay Leno. Yes. And, um, you know, I got a lot of calls from a lot of people to talk about turning it into a full series, which was, which has always been a dream of mine. I was a huge fan of candid camera, scare tactics, all of those shows. And I had a lot of ideas you know, I was just doing kind of little tricks on Jay Leno, but I, I had these great ideas for bigger illusions, like, you know, the vanishing car and 
you know, different things that I've gotten to do on the Carbonaro effect. So I met with a ton of people and, and found a great production company, um, called Fields Entertainment. Yes. It was run by si- Simon Fields. He's, it has an incredible resume, a volume of probably some of the most iconic music videos you've ever heard of, like AHA's Take On Me and Madonna's Like a Virgin and Peter Gabriel's Sledgehammer. He's a real visionary, magical eye. So he and I hit it off right away. Right. And him and his, him and his son have a business. Uh, Nathan. So it's Nathan Fields and Simon Fields. And uh, we just started jamming and we just hit it off right away. And they had connections with True TV. And that's how it happened. Oh, how the how wonderful is that? I think you're yeah. just such a wonderful, regular kind of guy. You're a real like natural Long Island, Long Island kind of guy. I got to tell you, I'm just very pleased. Uh, I just want to let everybody well, know you. that Michael is um, going to be at the King Center April 13th. 7 p.m., call the King Center, get your tickets, or go to www.michaelcarbonaro.com, and there will be a list of his tour dates and everything that you want to know about this guy will be on there. Um, Michael, I want to thank you. Go ahead, dear. I was just going to say thank you. I mean, this has been awesome. What a wonderful chat, great questions, and so glad that you're a fan of the show, and um, this has been lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I appreciate it. And good luck and break a leg, darling. Have a great, All right. a great April 13th. Thank you so much for calling in. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, dear. Okay.